The Celtic series uh, stopping Isaiah and, and protecting the paint was the key. I would assume against a team like Cleveland who's got some more weapons out the outside. Maybe that there's a different strategy going into this one. Um, yeah, I mean, each series kind of takes on its own life, and um, you know, teams are different, and points of emphasis are a little bit different, but um, you, you, I think everything usually does start with taking away the pain, taking away the basket, and so, you know, we got to do a great job of trying to keep them in front of us, which uh, you know, I think our guys are, are, uh, understand that and how important it is, and so, um, you know, it's part of our talking points. One of the things they did successfully against you last year was their big men had good games and the offensive rebounds and all that. Is, would this be a series where the big men might play a bigger role? Um, you know, I think it's a little bit of both. I think, you know, um, I think we got to guard the ball well initially. We got to guard, you know, pick and rolls well initially. And um, then we got to have everybody participate um, with rebounding. And um, But I think at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's part of the game, but it's not. It's not why we win or lose. And there's a lot of things. And um, you know, I think our bigs are looking forward to the challenge. And um, you know, so. But I, it's it's not just a rebounding right. game. Mike, you, you've heard a lot, I'm sure, already, and, and we'll continue to do so until the, the series opener about all the stars and the, the starters on both sides. Um, but I was asking Kyle a second ago about how last year you guys. You know, your bench basically became your starting lineup because of, of health reasons. How much more confident are you going in, considering you now have bench players who've done the job, uh, certainly in the last series, but you also actually have a bench to go to uh, this time around? Yeah, I mean, I think depth uh, for any team, we're not any different in the playoffs and having you know everybody available and um, ready uh, is, I think, going to be very helpful. and. You know, we're, we're going to need to use a lot of guys and have a lot of guys contribute, have the bench be good. Um, you know, so, but it, it certainly is good to, you know, obviously with, with the exception of Tiago to um, be healthy going into this uh, next series. Is this one where we might see Chris Humphreys now, though, just because of the, the matchups or yeah, no, differences? I, I think we'll need Chris in this series. I think, you know, I could see us you know, needing Chris and Muskie and really, you know, everybody. Um, so, but, um, yeah, I mean, I think Chris is always ready. He's anxious. He's kind of, you know, he, he's letting me know he's ready to go. <laughs> but are the matchups more conducive to, than maybe um, the last series? Because he didn't get in, but, you know, he makes Right. Play. No, I mean, I think, uh, you know, uh, Cleveland has played a few different ways. and um, But, you know, obviously um, Tristan Thompson and, and rebounding and those kinds of things are something we feel like Chris can help us with. and. Um, but, you know, in their last series, they, they kind of put out some smaller groups, and Boston put out a lot of smaller groups. So, you know, um, I, I think Chris will, will play and will help us in this series. And uh, But I think, you know, so will Mike Muscala. You have most of your Cleveland games early in the year. How are they different under Coach Duke versus Coach Black? Um, you know, well, really, we played them twice at the end. And, uh, you know, I, I think... I would say it's almost, uh, you know, having having uh, Kyrie Irving healthy, having Kevin Love healthy, and the way they're playing, it just seems like uh, a, a lot of pick and rolls, a lot of ball movement, um, and you know, defensively, maybe a little bit more aggressive. But I, I think they were great under Coach Blatt. You know, he did a great job. I think, um, you know, a lot of respect for him. I think. Uh, it's, it's a good team, good players, and, and both coaches have done a good job. But I think it's, it's almost like just a, a healthier, you know, team with with uh, with Irving and Love and the way they're playing. I think may have as much or more to do with that as um, you know how they're being coached or what they're being emphasized. And I know they're not just LeBron, but obviously he's a huge part. And we've talked in the past about just trying to give him different looks and throw as many bodies as you can. And the last game still at 36 points in three quarters. So is there something different that you try, something tangible, or were there lapses that you saw on film that there were areas to be better in? Is that how you could attack it? Well, I mean, I think to start with kind of what you alluded to, I think, you know, we will we'll have multiple people that can guard them, throw different looks at them. Um, you know, I think the, the challenge is always just initially, can, can you be better um, guarding them one-on-one? -on -one? Um, 
and then you know the activity you know around him. Um, but he's he's a great passer too. So you know you if you're too active or you commit too many people, then um, he's obviously a willing and able passer. So I think we can and um, will be uh, better on him. Um, but you know he's a uh, he's a player that you know obviously creates for himself and for others. So that's you know, the game. Do you think I know it's different years and different teams, hard to compare, but I don't know if you remember how you felt about your team going into that East Final last year and where you is this team in some ways almost do you feel better about this year, even though you're not a sixty win team that has home court advantage and uh, you know, in the top seed going into the to the series? I would just say we felt good going into the series last year. You know, we feel go, good going into the series this year. Um, I think it's a confident group. And, you know, it, it didn't work out for us last year. They played well, give them credit. Um, but I think the past is the past. And, uh, you know, the way this team has evolved and I think the growth defensively and the growth of some different players, um, you know, we feel very good and very respectful um, going into the series. You've mentioned that the defense getting better. Kyle said it almost like we're waiting for the ship to turn. I know it's always been a priority, but was there a point at this season where you said, "Now we're, now we're getting it," or the, the defense has evolved to where we want it to be? No, um, I don't. I don't think there was a moment. I think it's just kind of, you know, I think through, you know, I think the players just evolving and understanding and, you know, communicating and working on it. Um, you know, I, I think uh, it's just been kind of that evolution. Mike, was there anything you learned about Kent last year in the Eastern Conference Finals and, and this season with the more time that he's gotten? What's been the biggest thing that's, that you've learned about him? Well, you know, he, he, he loves to compete at the end of the day. I don't, I don't know if I've learned that per se, but, you know, he just continues to uh, be that guy that uh, relishes and whether it be playing in the playoffs last year, or taking on more of a role and responsibility this year, um, and he's got a great spirit. You know, his his energy, and um, it's just, I think it has a big influence on our team and you know on everything we do. So, you know, he's just a great competitor, great spirit, and uh, but, and he's got more opportunities. So you just see all those kind of characteristics more. You think he's a reason why you guys look more gritty? That you look like you're gritty. Fight. Mm, I think it's. I think the whole group is maybe just a little gritty or a little. Um, but he certainly is part of it. But um, you know, I, I think I would argue. You know, the defense from last year was maybe not um, not noted enough or not discussed enough, and that this year, you know, maybe there's a little more disparity between the defense and the offense, and so the defense is. And, and I do think the defense is better. But, and I do think we are a little bit more gritty, a little bit more tough, um, guys more committed. Uh, but you know, it's not like I think we went from 30th to 5th or something like that. So, you know, so I, but anyways, I, I think it's a gritty group. Kent does give up some size to LeBron weight-wise. How do you compensate for that? Or how does he compensate for that? How do you make up for that? Yeah, you know, I think Sometimes we just, you know, talk about Kent and his activity and, you know, maybe beating him to spots and using his quickness and um, just trying to, uh, um, you know, use his anticipation, all of those things. And, and you know, use understand where his teammates are and how, how they can help him and not, you know, take it as it's not just, uh, you know, Kent and um, LeBron James. So... Um, and I think he's, you know, for a, a lot of possessions, he's been good in understanding that. Jeff Sanko, is that okay? Or yeah, no, he, he looks good. Mike, one second. Uh, you were just talking about the offense last year versus this year. Is there anything you put your thumb on of maybe why the offense this year has been not as maybe what you liked from last year? Um, you know, I, I think it's just maybe been a lot of little things at different times. I, I think you know. Anytime we we play with more pace, and it's it's hard to do that. Um, you know, it's it's every coach and every player says they want to run, 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 and then you realize how hard it is. Um, and it, it takes you know great endurance, great conditioning, and you know. So I think we could be better in that area. Um, you know, our execution 
there's maybe just hasn't been as sharp and as good as it needs to be. And, um, and, and to be honest with you, at times we've got great opportunities. We've had great, um, you know, we feel good about the offense, to be honest with you, and um, confident in our guys and that it, it can click and it can get going at any time. It just maybe hasn't done it as consistently as it did last year.